Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Comscholar. In this video lecture, we are going to study a new chapter that is called Corporate Financial Reporting. Uh, students, this is a purely theoretical chapter hai. and this uh, chapter is for BCom Manus ke liye bhi and BCom Program. Ke liye bhi. Dono ke liye, aapke liye 15 marks ka ye, aapka, jo hai, ek question aane wala is and uh, I believe that this is a bonus chapter bonus chapter because sometimes it's very difficult to study all the chapters uh, in uh, like to do practice or uh, all, all practice questions so sometimes thoda uh, ho jata hai and it basically creates a lot of uh, uh, confusion so ye main ki aapka chapter basically uh, keep your mind in a relaxed mode so aap isko se padhiye because jyada difficult nahi hai but yes you need to do uh, like uh, you need to you need to concept all the clear okay so these are the content that we are going to discuss now that means uh, the introduction that is the concept what is all about uh, corporate financial reporting then uh, what are the various requirements then what is audit report data report all right so these are the things that we are going to study all right so let's start with the very basics what is all about uh, corporate financial reporting see first we understand what is all about uh, financial reporting so financial reporting is nothing but is basically a report that basically provided by the uh, businessman, firm, partnership or any entity for whom, for all the stakeholders so that they can know anything about the the the, uh, the nature of the business that means what is the business is going on what is the financial position of the of the business uh, right so that uh, every stakeholders can take their decision on their own right now these financial reporting when these financial reporting are credited with the company so it becomes uh, Corporate financial reporting. Alright. So let's see. That is, it is a method of presenting financial information about the company's performance, financial operation, and the cash flow to all the stakeholders. So that every stakeholder can know better what is going on in the company. That means they can easily know about what is the uh, uh, what is the uh, company's uh, overall performance. They can know about the financial position as they can know what is the uh, cash inflow or the cash outflow is uh, is about all right so overall cfr is an essential function that requires accuracy timeliness and transparency that means uh, it basically provide the their data is very accurate so that every stakeholders can depend on their particular data and uh, it is the uh, you can say the responsibility of the top level management to provide all the data in a very uh, time manner right then the data must be in a transparent manner then it provides the valuable information to all all various stakeholders uh, which help may to make a decision about the organization's health and the performance right see uh, there all the financial reporting is not about the decision making it's also about uh, to give about the views right see agar hum baat kare, like uh, um uh, uh be like suppose if you want to just uh, look uh, look at a company and just give your give your opinion right so aap kya to all the financial reporting financial reporting mein kya hoga? basically uh, the all the kinds of the data that means you will also look at the uh, balance sheet uh, uh, profit and loss account cash flow statement aap ye sab go through karoge and then you will also give your conclusion like what is the positive uh, aspects of the company what is the negative aspects of the company right so aap apne views bataoge right so it's not about all time that ki aapko pe decision lena hai nahi aisa nahi hai right then these are the types of financial reporting that means hum pad rahe hain financial reporting ab financial reporting mein actually mein hota kya hai that means two uh, uh, states mein aisa kya hota hai right so first one that is called income statement aapne acche se padha hua hai income statement kya hota hai cash flow kya hota hai changes in equity kya hota hai balance sheet kya hota hai aapne sab padha hua hai already acche se right so let's uh, just go through once see uh, income statement that means it is also uh, known as a pnl statement which shows the financial performance of a specific period such as sales generated expenses incurred creditors debtors and ca and cash sales this helps the stakeholders evaluate the company's health and put uh, and prospects for the future growth see hum usko padhte aa rahe from the 11th standard that the income statement income statement which talks about the uh, the basically so that the, everyone can knows what is the overall profit of the company 
after incurring all types of uh, uh, cost that is the diet cost as well as the indirect cost right and uh, so that you can know what is the uh, uh, like how many debtors are there how many creditors are there whether the sales are on on, on cash basis whether the sales are on, sales are on credit basis right which type of income uh, the companies having whether they have uh, uh, business operation income or they have uh, non trade investment income right so that you can identify each and every um, term very carefully then second one we have that is called cash flow cash flow is nothing about the they basically talks about the cash inflow and the cash outflow so this is what they business kar rahe hain to cash inflow and outflow to hoga hi right means the company jo hai apna kharcha kahan se kar rahi hai means how the basically company making the working capital management kaise kar rahi hai wo right so kya likha dekho it is used to debit the debit the money that has entered and left a business over a specific period of time operating investing and financial and, and financial activities that are the main components that make up the kind of financial statement aapko pata hai financial statement basically we have three types of activities that is operating activity investing activity and the financial activity operating activity which talks about the cash inflow and cash outflow of the operating activities right means daily basis ke jo business ko run karne hote hain usme company ko kitna paisa aaya aur kitna gaya then we have investing activity that means company ne jahan par bhi invest kiya hai right like uh, company agar uh, company ka share uh, company ne agar kisi fixed asset mein issue kiya hua hai right fixed asset purchase kiye hain ya sale kare hain to wo bhi aayega financing activity then we have that is the uh, financial activities which talks about the company ne company ke financial sources kahan kahan se hain that means if the company are raising uh, uh, issue right issue of shares agar company uh, share issue kar rahi hai to company ka paisa aayega इशू करेगी तो रिटर्न जाएंगे तो कंपनी के पास कैश पैसा जाएगा तो भी इनको शो करना पड़ेगा अंडर दी फाइनेंसिंग एक्टिविटी सो दैट आपको पता लगेगा कंपनी का ओवरऑल जो खर्चा कहाँ पर हो रहा है मींस अगर मान लीजिए किसी किसी एक साल में कंपनी का कैश आउटफ्लो बहुत ज़्यादा हो गया तो पता लगना कैसे हुआ तो आप कैश फ्लो में देख सकते हो जैसे कि अगर बात करें डिमिशन ऑफ प्रेफरेंस शेयर की बात कर दें आपको पता है प्रेफरेंस शेयर एक बार इशू होते हैं तो वो बीस साल के लिए वो इशू होते हैं मैचर टाइम का बीस साल का होता है तो मान जी ट्वेंटी ईयर में जब कंपनी को पेमेंट करना पड़ा तो एक बहुत बड़ा लमसम अमाउंट होता है राइट तो जब बैंक से पेमेंट जाएगा तो कैश आउटफ्लो होगा और मान लीजिए ट्वेंटी ईयर में किस, किसी को पता लगाना कि इतना बड़ा अमाउंट गया कहाँ तो आप कहाँ पता लगा सकते हो अंडर दी कैश फ्लो स्टेटमेंट देन वी हैव दैट इज कॉल्ड चेंजेस इन इक्विटी ऑब्वियसली जब भी कंपनी जो है इक्विटी में देखो इक्विटी में खाता बेसिकली आपका इक्विटी प्लस रिजर्व मीन्स कंपनी ने अगर शेयर इशू करें तो भी इसमें आएगा कंपनी का अगर कंपनी ने जो प्रॉफिट अर्न किया है वो किसके लिए जाता है इक्विटी शोल्डर दिया जाता है अब कंपनी को डिसाइड करना होता है कि कंपनी ने अपने जो पैसा कमाया जितना भी प्रॉफिट कमाया है हाउ मच दे हैव रिटेन एंड हाउ मच दे हैव डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड एज डिविडेंड टू द इक्विटी शोल्डर्स तो वो कहाँ देखोगे अंडर दी हेड दैट इज कॉल्ड चेंजेस इन इक्विटी राइट तो आप देख सकते हो इसका पता लगा सकते हो कि कंपनी का मैनेजमेंट कैसे चल रहा है मीन्स कंपनी ने जितना भी प्रॉफिट अर्न किया है तो कंपनी ने कितना मार्जिन अपने पास रखा है एंड दैट मीन्स कंपनी ने कितना रिटेन करा है और रिटेन करा तो कंपनी ने क्यों करा वो भी आप देख सकते हो राइट देन कंपनी ने अगर डिविड दिया है तो कंपनी कितना डिविड दिया है आप फिर डिविड एनालिसिस लगा सकते हो कि कंपनी हर साल कितना डिविड बांट रही है राइट देन लास्ट वन वी दैट इज कॉल्ड बैलेंस शीट एंड देखिए हम उसको काफ़ी टाइम पढ़ा हुआ है कि बैलेंस शीट टॉक्स अबाउट दी फाइनेंशियल पोजिशन ऑफ दी कंपनी विच टॉक्स अबाउट बिकॉज बैलेंस शीट में क्या होता है ऑल दी एसर्ट्स एंड दिलाइबिटीज एसर्ट्स भी सारी होती हैं दैट मीन्स कंपनी के पास कौन कौन से एसर्ट्स हैं फिक्स एसर्ट कितनी है टेंजिबल कितनी है नॉन टेंजिबल कितनी है राइट right? uh, सब कुछ देखना होता है दैन कंपनी के पास फिफ्टी शेयर सर्स कितनी है अच्छा यहाँ पर लिखा हो देखो मोन पॉइंट मोन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज दट इज दी गैप रिक्वायर शोइंग एसर्ट्स एंड लाइबिटीज इन ऑर्डर टू देयर इक्विटी आपको पता है कि बैलेंस शीट का जो फॉर्मेट होता है राइट एज पर द अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स सो उसमें क्या क्या आपकी क्या होती है जिसकी जिस टर्म की या जिस एसर्ट्स की लिक्विटी कम होती है वो पहला आता है जैसे पहला आएगा पहला आपका क्या आता है दैट इज कॉल्ड फिक्स एसेट उसके बाद आपकी आती है कहते हैं पहले आपकी आती है टेंजिबल देन नॉन नॉन टेंजिबल दैट इज़ द करंट एसर्ट्स आते हैं राइट ऐसे ही आपकी सेम देखो लाइब्रेटी में पहले आपका कहता है शेयर होल्डर्स फंड जो आप आप कहते हैं लॉन्ग टर्म लाइब्रेटीज फिर आती है आपकी शॉर्ट टर्म लाइब्रेटीज राइट मीन्स जिसकी लिक्विडी कम है उसको पहले ऊपर शो करता है वो ऐसा क्यों बिकॉज वो गैप में लिखा होता है राइट सो दिस आर द टाइप्स ऑफ फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग देन वट इज़ द ओवरऑल एनालिसिस ऑफ कॉर्पोरेट फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग देखिए क्या लिखा हुआ है फाइनेंशियल इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द रिसोर्स अबाउट द इकोनॉमिक रिसोर्स ऑफ द एंटिटी क्लेम अगेंस्ट द एंटिटी एंड द चेंजेस इन दोज रिसोर्स एंड द क्लेम्स 
देखिए कंपनी के काफ़ी सारे जो हैं देखिए डेटर्स भी होते हैं क्रेडिटर्स भी होते हैं राइट सो so, अगर किसी को पता लगाना हो कि कंपनी के पास कितना पैसा आने वाला है कितना पैसा आ गया आया तो कहाँ से आया कंपनी को अगर लोन देना है तो कित, कितने को लोन देना है कंपनी का डेट इक्विटी रेशू कितना है राइट right? सो so, वो कहाँ पता लगेगा इन दी सी एफ आई दैट इज कॉर्पोरेट फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग देन इट ऑल्सो टॉक्स अबाउट दी असेसमेंट ऑफ द अमाउंट टाइमिंग एंड द अनसर्टनिटी ऑफ फ्यूचर कैश इन इनफ्लो टू दी टू द एंटिटी एंड द मैनेजमेंट स्टेवरशिप ऑफ द एंटिटीज इकोनॉमिक रिसोर्स दैट मीन्स सपोज इफ यू इफ यू आर डिपेंशियल होल्डर ऑफ कंपनी यू वॉन्ट टू नो दैट मीन्स वेदर द कंपनी हैविंग क्रेडिबिलिटी टू पे दी टू पे दी एंटायर अमाउंट ऑन टाइम और नॉट सो आप क्या देखोगे दैट मीन्स कंपनी का बैंक बैंक बैलेंस कितना है कंपनी के रिसोर्स अवेलेबल है ही नहीं है राइट सो द वेदर द कंपनी हैव अ गुड रेपो टू मेक ऑल द पेमेंट ऑन टाइम राइट तो आप कहाँ देखोगे सारे नेट कैश इनफ्लो देखोगे कैश आउटफ्लो देखोगे दैन डिसाइड करोगे वेदर द कंपनी हैव इन अ पोजिशन टू पे ऑल द लाइबिटीज ऑन टाइम इन टाइम और नॉट दैन नेक्स्ट पॉइंट दैट इज द एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ द रिटर्न राइट देखिए एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ रिटर्न देखिए किसके लिए दैट इज फॉर द प्रेफरेंस होल्डर्स एज वेल एज फॉर द इक्विटी होल्डर्स राइट अब अब देखो डिवेंचर के लिए बताए बिकॉज इक्विटी होल्डर क्या देखिएगा अपना रिटर्न और डिविडेंट प्रेफरेंस होल्डर को डिविडेंट से मतलब होता है डिवेंचर होल्डर को इंटरेस्ट से मतलब होता है सो सी एफ आर बेसिकली टॉक्स अबाउट वेदर द कंपनी इज लेबल टू मीट ऑल द एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ द स्टेक होल्डर्स और नॉट राइट दैन लास्ट वन वी दैट इज कॉल डिसीजन ऑफ द इन्वेस्टर्स लेंडर्स एंड अदर क्रेडर्स दैट मीन्स इफ द कंपनी वॉन्ट टू टेक अ लोन राइट सो इट इज बेसिकली द सी एफ आर बेसिकली प्रोवाइड दी Uh, helpful information to all the lenders that whether to uh, whether uh, whether sh- should provide loan to this particular company or not right now let's uh, coming to the agenda that means what is the overall agenda of cfr that is the corporate financial reporting first one that is called supporting management decision making obviously abhi tak hum ye to padhta rahe hain bar bar point dekho repeat ho raha hu kuch nahi hai देखिए ये आपको मैं इस तरह से आपको एक डेटा आपको प्रेजेंट कर रहा हूँ सो दैट यू कैन इजिली राइट ऑल दी पॉइंट्स इन इन द एग्जाम इन अ वेरी प्रॉपर मैनर सो फर्स्ट वन दैट इज कॉल्ड सपोर्टिंग मैनेजमेंट डिसीजन मेकिंग ऑब्वियसली इट दी सी एफ आर बेसिकली प्रोवाइड्स ऑल द डेटा इन अ वेरी एक्यूरेट मैनर सो दैट एवरी स्टेक होल्डर्स कैन लुक एट ऑल दी रिपोर्ट्स इन अ टाइमली मैनर सो दैट दे कैन टेक डिसीजन दैन सेकेंड वन दैट इज दी फैसिलिटेटिंग एक्सटर्नल डिसीजन मेकिंग ऑब्वियसली इट नॉट टॉक अबाउट दी इंटरनल मैनेजमेंट ऑब्वियसली टॉक अबाउट दी एक्सटर्नल डिसीजन मेकिंग अभी हमने जैसे यहाँ पर बढ़ा था लास्ट पॉइंट में जैसे दैट इज इफ द कंपनी वॉन्ट टू टेक लोन फ्रॉम द बैंक राइट सो बैंक वन दैट इज द एक्सटर्नल डिसीजन मेकिंग है बैंक डिसाइड करेगा कि बैंक देखेगा कि इस कंपनी को जो है लोन देना है या नहीं देना राइट दैन थर्ड वन दैट इज कॉल प्रोमोटिंग अकाउंटेबिलिटी एंड ट्रांसपेरेंसी ऑब्वियसली देखिए अगर कंपनी ने दैट मीन्स इफ द कंपनी हैव अ गुड रेपो एंड द कंपनी ऑल दी Uh, uh, means uh, uh, maintaining all the standards uh, to make all the reports as per the accounting standards uh, right unhone proper jo audit karaya hua hai so that uh, the report is uh, uh, that is kya show karta that means the report is the reliable data showing the re- reliable data right and basically uh, talks about the uh, and the data also talks about the transparency as well then fourth one thing is that is called communicating financial resources obviously if the company want to invest in another company राइट right. सो so, क्या होगा वो दूसरी कंपनी के फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग देखेगी सो इट बेस्ट टॉक्स अबाउट दी कंपनी दैट मीन्स इफ दी कंपनी वांट टू डील विद दी अनदर कंपनी राइट सो वो क्या देखेगी दे बेसिकली आस्क फॉर दी फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग फर्स्ट शो योर फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग एंड देन विल डिसाइड वेदर टू डील विद योर कंपनी और नॉट देन फिफ्थ फर्नी दैट इज दी फैसिलिटिंग ऑडिटिंग ऑब्वियसली देखिए ऑडिटर कौन होता है दैट मीन्स दे ऑल्सो आस्क अबाउट दी ऑल दी एविडेंस बिकॉज फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग में क्या होता है दैट मीन्स टू एंटर ऑल द डेटा इन अ वेरी एक्यूरेट मैनर राइट एंड टू शो केस ऑल द डेटा इन अ वेरी एक्यूरेट इन अ वेरी ट्रांसपेरेंट मैनर तो ऑडिटर क्या चाहेगा दैट इज द टू शो ऑल द एविडेंस इन अ सपोर्ट मैनर इन ऑल द सपोर्टिंग डॉक्यूमेंट इन अ सिस्टमेटिक मैनर राइट सो अगर आप खुद आपकी कोई खुद ही कंपनी है अगर आप अपने सपोर्टिंग डॉक्यूमेंट अच्छे से लगा देते हो इन अ वेरी प्रॉपर मैनर and uh, following all the accounting standards then it basically facilitate or uh, facilitating auditing uh, to complete all the orders in a very timely manner then what is the application that means what is the use of uh, the fine corporate financial reporting first one that is the also that is the investment decision that if any person that means any stakeholders want to invest in the company they also look look for the 
uh, corporate financial reporting. Then third, uh, second way that is called credit design. Just when you that means if any bank, uh, like uh, looking for the, uh, like to give loan, right? So what they will That means they will also ask for corporate financial reporting. Then static decision making. That means uh, every director or LD or all the top management as well. They will also look for the corporate financial reporting. That means what is the uh, overall financial position of the given company. They will also decide uh, how much dividend we, they need to distribute from the profit. Then fourth one that is called compliance and the regular, right? So that uh, the outsiders can know that the data is reliable or not. Then the last one that is called stakeholder stakeholder communicator. That means stakeholder means uh, that corporate financial reporting is help uh, to is because it help. Uh, uh, to all these stakeholders to understand all the data in a very proper manner. Now, next, that is how to improve CFR. That is the corporate financial reporting. That means uh, if there is any gap uh, in the data, so what are the ways to improve this particular report? First one is that is the standardization. That means every company need to uh, maintain the standards. That means they have to follow all the accounting standards and then uh, record all the data in a very uh, in a very proper manner then second one we have that is called clarity and the transparency that means the data that means each and every data that they have entered so the data must be clear and must be transparent then third one this is that is called materiality that means the the data must be according to the business operation that means it must be related to the business only right then fourth one that is called independent auditing. That means the auditor can ask and uh, ask for a, a, every uh, every uh, evidence, right? So it is the basically fully responsibility of the director or the top level management of the company to provide all the supporting do document uh, to the auditor. So it basically also another method to improve CFR. Then fifth one that is called timeliness. That means it, it is a duty. Of the top level management of the company to provide uh, the uh, corporate financial reporting or uh, to publish all the all these reports uh, in the official website in a very timely manner now we have next concept that is called annual report first uh, we uh, look at the what is all about annual report and then we will see about uh, the difference between the annual report and the financial reporting now what is all about annual reports See, annual report. If we talk about, uh, if I talk about in a very short manner, uh, it is also a kind of a financial reporting because it it also basically talks about uh, the what is the financial position of the company, whether the company having uh, uh, the credit the credibility of uh, to paying all the debts in a very time manner or not, right? But annual reporting is it basically provide uh, the data in a very fruitful manner. That means. Uh, uh, it basically provides the data in a very summarized way, right? Okay, auditor put kata, that means uh, the that data and the top level management can also viewpoint can also uh, can also they can also uh, provide uh, the, their information their viewpoints. That means uh, how the company is going on, what is the overall vision of the company, uh, what what are the what kind of uh, the decision they have taken in the past, uh, right? And what are the uh, decision that they are, they are going to do in the future. So, what is the annual That is the annual report, right? See, do not basic difference. Suppose if you have the balance sheet of any company, right? Uh, and usme kya hua? Sab aapka quantitative aapka data likha hua hai. Numbers se kya That means uh, the company ne itna profit kamaya, company ne dividend bata, company ke baad reserve hai. So, it basically the quantitative data. But agar kisi expert ka agar review point usme likha ho, that means what are the Pros and cons of the particular balance sheet, right? So, we a report that they annually is called annual report. The expert that right? They can click away. It is a comprehensive document that publicly traded companies are required to produce and distribute uh, shareholders and other necessary parties at the end of the fiscal year. Second, it provides a summary of the company's financial position and performance and other relevant companies' information about the company's operation governance and the social responsibility and the last one we is that is the purpose of the annual report is to provide stakeholders with a comprehensive view of the company's performance and to provide insights into the future prospects right so the report show that is in a very summarized form right 
the about the company's operations that means uh, uh, what is the overall business overall nature of the business it also talks about the governance whether the company are comply with the all the uh, accounting standards or not then the third one that is the uh, they also talks about the social responsibility that means uh, 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 whether the companies are harming to the society or not right and how much uh, they are contributing to the society right so suppose mein likha hua annual report then what is included in annual report first one that is called chairman's statement dekhiye chairman ke statement likhoge that means unka view point likha hoga what are the pros and cons of the overall company thus likha hua companies outlining the company strategy vision and the future plan sab likha hoga usme second one is that is the management decision analysis obviously after reading all the jaisa maane ja kar maane ja kisi layman ko pata hi nahi like how to read all the financial reporting right so wo kahan jayega wo jayega annual report mein बिकॉज एनुअल रिपोर्ट में उसमें स्टेटमेंट वाइज लिखा होगा एंड उसमें समराइज वे में लिखा होगा सो दैट एनी लेमैन कैन ईजिली अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट दी वट इज ऑल अबाउट द कंपनीज राइट सो इट बेसिकली प्रोवाइड्स इन इन डेप्थ एनालिसिस ऑफ द कंपनीज परफॉर्मेंस लाइक द एक्सपेंसिस एंड द रेवेन्यू एंड थर्ड वन वी दैट इज कॉल्ड नीड्स टू नोट्स टू फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट जैसे आप बैलेंस शीट में नोट्स बनाते थे नीचे जैसे नोट्स बनाते थे दैट इट बेसिकली प्रोवाइड द एडिशन इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट मीन्स कंपनी का बैलेंस शीट में जैसे फिक्स एसेट है तो कौन कौन सी है जैसे बैलेंस शीट में ऊपर लिखा होता है हेडिंग लिखा होता है फिक्स एसेट और अमाउंट लिखा होता है सपोज टेन करोड़ बट उसकी ये नहीं लिखा होता कि उसमें इस फिक्स एसेट है तो कौन कौन सी है तो उसके लिए कहा जाओगे आप नोट्स करना देखोगे कि कंपनी के पास एट प्रेजेंट जो फिक्स एसेट कौन कौन सी है लैंड बिल्डिंग है प्लान एंड मशीनरी है इक्विपमेंट्स है क्या है देन ऑडिटर ऑडिट रिपोर्ट ऑब्वियसली एनुअल रिपोर्ट में ऑडिट रिपोर्ट भी हो गया क्यों बिकॉज देखिए फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग में उसको आप सपोर्टिंग डॉक्यूमेंट किसी भी स्टेक होल्डर्स के लिए तभी बना पाओगे वो उस पर डेटा पे रिलाय तभी करेगा जब तक उस पर ऑडिट रिपोर्टर ऑडिट रिपोर्ट अपनी मोहर नहीं लगा था राइट तो उसमें ऑडिटर के व्यू पॉइंट में लिखोगे कि क्या कंपनी ने अपने सारे स्टैंडर्ड्स फॉलो करे हैं या नहीं करे नेक्स्ट दैट इज कॉल्ड कॉर्पोरेट गवर्नेंस ऑब्वियसली जो बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर होंगे राइट वो देखेंगे कंपनी की ओवरऑल जो है गवर्नेंस स्ट्रक्चर क्या है देन सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑब्वियसली they also talks about the overall efforts that means uh, how much uh, companies efforts uh, uh, are basically uh, going for the uh, society for the uh, uh, for, for the benefit of the society right jaise dekhiye yahan par jaise likha hota hai jaise koi company jaise suppose agar baat karu itc right itc pata hai aapko kaafi sare jo hai kehte topic ko kehte products banata hai to company ko batana hoga that means uh, how much they are basically harmful right that means jo unka product unka harmful hai ya nahi hai aur harmful hai तो उनको अपने लेबल में लिखना होगा एंड प्लस तो उनको अगर टैक्स के फॉर्म उनको फिर ज्यादा पैसा देना भी होगा राइट देन हु आर द यूजर्स ऑफ एनुअल रिपोर्ट दैट इज शेयर होल्डर्स ऑब्वियसली शेयर होल्डर्स कौन होता है दैट इज ए ओनर्स राइट सो दे मस्ट नो अबाउट द एनुअल रिपोर्ट देन सेकंड वन दैट इज कॉल्ड फाइनेंशियल एनालिसिस दैट मींस इफ द कंपनीज इफ दे इफ एनी इन्वेस्टर वांट टू इन्वेस्ट राइट जो बड़े-बड़े जो जैसे एफ आई होते हैं एफ पे होते हैं वो अगर इन्वेस्ट करना चाह रहे हैं बाहर के लोग यहाँ पर इन्वेस्ट करना चाह रहे हैं सो दे मस्ट नो अबाउट दी वट इज दी ओवरऑल परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द कंपनी राइट देन थर्ड पॉइंट दैट इज कॉल एम्प्लॉइज ऑब्वियसली अगर आप किसी भी कंपनी में अगर आप जॉब करना चाहते हो राइट right? आपको ड्रीम है मुझे इस कंपनी में जॉब करना है राइट right? तो ड्रीम क्यों करना चाह रहे हो बिकॉज इट्स अ गुड कंपनी द कंपनी हैविंग अ गुड रेपो इन दी मार्केट राइट बट इफ द कंपनी इज नॉट गोइंग वेल उनका प्रॉफिट कम है दे आर नॉट giving any kind of bonus to the uh, employees so aap kya us company mein jaoge nahi jaoge so employees ke liye bhi annual report zaruri hai then fourth one that is called the regulators and the government agencies obviously government must know about whether whether the company are paying all the taxes uh, in a in a rightly manner or not then last one that is called customers and suppliers obviously bhai business kar ultimately kiske liye kar rahe hain customers ke liye so that uh, uh, every business uh, must to uh, means uh, Uh, means uh, uh, every business must fulfill the needs of the customers and the suppliers as well right so annual report sab ke liye bhi hai then this is the basic difference between the financial statement and the annual report as i first likha hua hai financial statement are the part of annual report but they only provide financial information about the financial uh, performance right jaisa bata tha because financial statement it only talks about the Uh, the quantitative aspect not the qualitative aspect jaise likha hua annual report covers the broader range of topics such as company's vision mission 
values strategic plans major projects and the and all the initiatives then second one is it follows a standard format and provides specific information such as income expenses tax liability equity and so on whereas in end reports are flexible in report and can include various information such as graphs charts and to compare to company performance annual report mein kya hota hai aapko ek na data ko crisp karke deta hai that means what is going on in the company company ke usme kaafi sare charts likhe hote hain pie chart ho gaye histogram ho gaya unka data means in a very proper manner dikhayega so that easily and in a very simple manner right so that every investor or any stakeholders can decide on them now let's come to the next topic that is called the duties of the director first one is called that is the fiduciary duty dekhi kisi pehle to aapko pata hona chahiye who are the basically directors who basically direct who basically take all the decision on the behalf of the company they are the directors so they must take all the decisions uh, in the favor of the company that is the fiduciary duty of the every director then second one we have that is called strategic plan that means every director must take all the decisions uh for the benefit of the companies as per the uh, vision and the mission then oversight of management that means uh, management is all about decision making so director must take care of all about the management as well then fourth one that is called risk management obviously uh, every business uh, having their risk a risk is with us hota hai whether uh, they sh- it, it uh, must maintain the working capital daily basis of cash kahan se aayega kaise nahi aayega right whether they must uh, they must uh, also look at the debt or equity ratio right to unko ye sab unko risk management karna par karna hoga right and the last one there is called compliance that means it is the duty of the debtor to comply all uh, to comply with or uh, to comply with uh, uh, the accounting standards then these are the contents of the debt debtor report first one is that is the introduction it basically provides overview of the company's performance second one is that is the financial uh, performance that means it will tell you what are the company's expenses incomes and what are the financial risk of the company then third one that is really corporate governance that means uh, it should cover company's corporate governance practices including the composition and activities of the board or directors then fourth one is that is the risk management abhi maine bata tha that it should include how the risk have been managed and any significant changes in the company risk management that means unko uh, batana hoga that means uh, if the company facing any risk or uh, suppose ab risk kai se bhi ho sakta hai right like financial risk jo hai non financial risk bhi ho sakta hai non financial that means suppose if there is any government interference in the company kuch bhi ho sakta hai tax bada diya right or the uh, government ne kuch aisa decision le liya that basically affecting the company's performance so they have to deal all uh, deal all this then fifth one that is called future outlook that means uh, obviously the company must have some mission right they must uh, do all the uh, they must take all the decision as per the futuristic outlook then what are the steps to make a draft of the data report first one that is the every data must uh, gather or the relevant information fourth one is review the previous report obviously the director ki duty jo hai bahut बोल सकते हैं कि काफ़ी इम्पोर्टेंट मानी जाती है बिकॉज डायरेक्टर जब रिपोर्ट बनाता है तो वो देखता है बेसिकली तीन चैनल में बनाता है वो पास्ट प्रेजेंट एंड फ्यूचर पास्ट में उसने क्या क्या डिसीजन लिए और उसका इफेक्ट अब एट प्रेजेंट में क्या क्या चल रहा है देन जो अभी जो आज उन्होंने डिसीजन लिए हैं उसका इफेक्ट फ्यूचर में क्या होने वाला वो भी प्लस फ्यूचर में वो क्या क्या डिसीजन लेने वाले हैं वो भी इनको एनुअल रिपोर्ट में बताना होता है देन थर्ड वन दैट इज द डिस्कस द कंटेंट ऑफ द रिपोर्ट ऑब्वियसली देखिए डेटर इज नॉट ऑल दिस इज नॉट सोल पर्सन टू टेक ऑल द डिसीजन राइट इट मस्ट द डेटर मस्ट ऑल्सो टेक केयर अबाउट द टॉप लेवल मैनेजमेंट ऑफ द कंपनी सो ऐसा नहीं कि विदाउट एनी एनी डिस्कशन दे मस्ट द डेटर टेक ऑल द डिसीजन देन फोर्थ वन दैट इज द रिव्यू फॉर एक्यूरेसी एंड द कम्प्लीटनेस दैट मीन्स आफ्टर डिस्कशन फ्रॉम द टॉप लेवल मैनेजमेंट दे मस्ट रिव्यू ऑल द डेटा दैट मीन्स ऑल द डेटा वेदर द फाइनेंशियल रिपोर्टिंग as well as the annual reports are accurate or not and then finally the to publish the data to uh, all the report in a very timely manner then these are the advantages of the data report first one is that is the communicate communicating forward that is to enhancing dialogue between the board of directors and the shareholders 
first one that is to maintain the relation between uh, between the business and the shareholder fourth one that is called sort analysis that is the strength weakness of company's strength unko sab batana padega then make an impact that means to unko act as a strategy banana padegi so that it basically uh, uh, helps in the to achieve all the uh, mission all right so these are the things that uh, we have discussed in this particular lecture i hope you have understood very well